It's an abomination for kings to commit wickedness. It's an abomination for kings to commit wickedness. They are enthroned. A throne is established in righteousness, sir. Shame on you, sir. Shame on you. Amen. Shame on you. Shame on you, you wicked sodomite you. lovers. You don't care for these people. You think Mayor Perdido cares about you? He doesn't care about you. Mayor Perdido can care less about your soul. He can care less about your life. He's using you. Mayor Perdido is using you. All he's doing is furthering his own political career. Mayor Perdido doesn't care about you. He's just using you. All he wants to do is gain more power. All Mayor Perdido wants to do is get mayor of an authority. So he can change our laws and make us more wicked than what we already are. He doesn't care about the homosexual. He doesn't care about you. Mayor Perdido can care absolutely less. You are now pronounced an abomination before God. You're going to stand and give an account of your wicked, wicked life. Jesus Christ sent it in God to you. The Bible says to seek the Lord that he may be found. And to call upon him while he is near. Everyone knows in their right mind this is not natural. There's nothing natural about homosexuality. There's not one, one single solitary natural aspect of sodomy. There's nothing natural about lesbianism. Nothing natural whatsoever. You will never be able to have children. You act against your own nature. You have abandoned the natural function of each other. You have abandoned the natural function of the man. And you have burned like perverts in your lust towards one another. You have burned as perverts in your lust towards one another. And when you stand before the living God, He's going to give you, He's going to punish you, He's going to come. You will have no answer for your sin. You will have no atonement for your sin. Because you reject the only atonement that is available to you. And that atonement is Jesus Christ. He is the only hope that you have to be right with God. The Bible says there's only one way. There's only one mediator. There's only one God. And His name is Jesus Christ. That is His name. He is the Savior of the world. He came to set you free from your iniquity. But there are conditions. The Bible says to lay aside all filthiness and overthrow wickedness and receive with meekness the implanted word which is able to save your soul. Judgment of God to not 
fall on you. We want the judgment of God not to fall on your head. We want you to be blessed by God. We want you to live a blessed and holy and righteous and full life. And then when you die, we want you to be our neighbors in heaven. That's what we want. But you're not going to get there if you continue to be a homosexual. You're not going to get there if you continue to support homosexuality. Because the Bible says this, He who justifies the wicked and he who condemns the just, both of them are like an abomination unto God. You cannot support evil. You have to hate what God hates and love what God loves. If you do that, then you have the heart of God.